What's up, Calc gang? Welcome back to some physics. So we got this problem here, right? We have boxes A and B, and they're on this frictionless surface. One of them is 20 kilograms, and one of them is five kilograms. And we're getting a 250 Newton force exerted onto block A. Now, the question wants us to find what the magnitude of the force that A exerts on B. So it's not as easy as just saying 250, right? Because they're different masses and stuff. So we're gonna have to figure this out. So the main question, or the main equation actually we're gonna to use to solve this is Newton's law, right? Force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we know that there's a 250 Newton force being applied to block A, but we're looking for what force block A exerts on block B. So to do that, we're gonna to need to use this equation, right? So of course we know the mass of block B is five kilograms. Then if we wanna find how much force is being exerted on block B, we need to find what that acceleration is. So in order to find that acceleration, we're gonna to need to use this equation on a grander scale. So to do that, let's find the mass of block A and B together. So it's pretty simple, right? We know that A is, uh, right? We know that A is 20 kilograms and B is five kilograms. So we're just gonna add the masses together, right? Mass AB is equal to mass of A plus mass of B. So that's gonna be 20 plus five. And of course, that's 25 kilograms. So now that we have that piece of information, let's move on. So we're gonna to go to our next equation, right? Force is equal to mass times acceleration. This time we're gonna label it for A and B, right? Why are we doing this? Well, we know that the force, 250 Newtons, is being applied to mass A and B, right? Because A and B are forming a system together. That force is being applied to both A and B. So we know that force AB is 250, right? Force AB is 250, that's the force being applied to both blocks. We know mass of AB is 25 kilograms, we just figured that out. So we can put that 25 there. And then we have acceleration of AB. Now why do we want acceleration of AB? Well, acceleration of AB is gonna be the same as acceleration A or acceleration B. And if you remember, going back to this grand equation, we know we're looking for this force, right? We're looking for the force on B, so we need to find that acceleration. So this is what we're solving for, acceleration AB. So of course we're gonna divide by 25 from both sides of the equation and 250 divided by 25 is 10. So that means that acceleration AB is 10 meters a second squared. So now that we have that piece of information, we can finally go back to this equation, right? Force is equal to mass times acceleration. And this time we're gonna go to just block B itself. Oops, there's a hair on there. Force of B, right? This is what we're solving for, right? This is the force on B exerted by block A is equal to the mass of B times the acceleration of B. Now we know the mass of B is five kilograms. And we know that the acceleration of B is the same as the acceleration of A and B. They're both accelerating at the same. So five times 10. Of course, add those together, uh, multiply those together. And you get that force of B is equal to 50 Newtons. So we can get rid of those. And yeah, that's our final answer, right? Force on B exerted by A is 50 Newtons. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any more physics questions, free to ask in the comments and uh, check out my playlist. See you in the next video. Peace.